Hey there, my listeners. It is your lovely host here. It is Team Rai Rai. Now, before I go any further, my awesome listeners, I was just wondering, anyone out there on social media had a chance to listen to the podcast from earlier today? If not, tap that bell. You should get a notification from YouTube. If not, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, and all that other stuff. That really means a lot to me, okay? Now, if you don't want to go through that hassle, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter name is tmarie32 because all the flipping time, I always post my my podcast on my Twitter feed and very, very rarely I post a video on my Twitter feed, okay? It is tmarie32. There you go. Hopefully, everyone out there enjoys this discussion now it is time once again I'm going to discuss wrestling news wrestling topics and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you so sit back relax be a feed up grab something to eat grab something to drink now if you don't do that part maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on a certain topic in the article will be down below let's roll this now you may know about this you may not know about this but W was thinking of having Elias going after the Intercontinental Championship, but they decided to um, not go in that direction. Now, I am not a fan with Elias. His character is so flipping boring, in my opinion. He needs a new gimmick, okay? That people could enjoy him, love him. Right now, we decided to turn him face because recently, not too long ago, Bobby Lashley turned heel. So someone's got to turn from heel to face. You know, I don't think his his face turn is working out very good, in my opinion. Okay, I could be totally wrong. Okay. Okay. Now listen to this. Okay, the Twitter account. Wrestling voted, probably I messed up, recently report that WWE had plans for Elias to win the Intercontinental Championship a few weeks back as part of of his county, country, um, I'm sorry, hold on, babyface push on Raw. I know I'm not saying that all the words correctly, but you guys get the drift. Okay, the original plans call for him to win the title from the current champion, Seth Rollins. Then they turned Dean Ambrose heel last month. The obvious, they turned didn't happen. And there were no words on yet why the title change was mixed. Currently, Elias is now featured with Bobby Lashley, a few with Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, and general manager Baron Corbin. You know, yeah, he is. That's very, very stupid storyline. The feud, dumb. I hate it, but whatever. You guys could read the rest of it. Now, um, that'd be nice from this article that if Seth Rollins, still a champion out of nowhere, uh, Dean Ambrose cost him the Intercount Championship, and then they continue, they start their feud. Now, I'm glad they're going to go in that direction. They're going to go in this direction, okay? They're going to go one-on-one at TLC next month. I don't know if it's a stipulation like a ladder match and the belt will be hanging above the rafters, above the ring. I don't know if it's confirmed because if you watched Raw last week, this past Monday night, you could see a little photo of Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins and in between them, is a ladder, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a ladder match at TLC. If they announce that, I must have missed it. I love ladder matches; they're very good, but they take forever to finish. Um, the Money Bank ladder match is awesome, but they take forever to finish. Um, probably because it's very entertainment value. Now, a lot of you love this Dean Ambrose character way better when he was a baby fest. I totally agree. Hopefully. They keep pushing the envelope with Dean Ambrose 
the heel gimmick. Hopefully they don't drop the ball. You know? Let's see what happens. Now, Dean Ambrose, in my opinion, he don't need a flipping belt. He don't. He's very good what he does as a heel. Now, I know you're going to say he's trash. It don't matter if he's face. It don't matter if he's heel. He's doing great things, okay? You know, I'm glad he's facing his former sh shooter brother, Seth Rowan. You know, let's see how long this feud is going to last. A couple of weeks, a couple of months, we'll find out. Hopefully, this match at TLC will be very, very good. Hopefully, maybe, it will be the main event at TLC, but let's see what happens. So, I want your opinion of this article. And like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe, leave a like, and all that other mumbo jumbo. And enjoy the rest of your Friday, and have an excellent weekend. This weather sucks, very gloomy. I miss the sun, but... The sun's there somewhere, but I don't see it because the freaking clouds is covering it. Whatever. But, um, have a good one and enjoy your rest of your Friday. And once again, have an excellent weekend from your lovely host here. It is Team Right. I am signing off.